Welcome to another Stan's Awakening video. Today is Tuesday and I'm gonna talk about the stand which I have right now, which is Sticky Fingers. So this is what Sticky Finger looks like. For those who are curious and how to get this is pretty simple. Get yourself an arrow, stab yourself in hopes to get this stand here. Now, the percentage of you getting this is 2%. From a single arrow, you get this 2%. In other JoJo games, this is much more easier to get than what you think it is. So, let's see if it's worth it. The grinding to get this single sticky finger. Took me at least hours to get this thing, by the way. Took me hours and hours and hours and hours of using Roka and arrows. So, now that you know how to get Sticky Fingers, might as well talk about its stats and its move list. Now, Sticky Finger has a destructive power of B++ tier, and a speed of A tier, and a durability of B- tier. As you can see here, as it's a left mouse button, that's not what it's supposed to do, but as you can see here, it deals 10 damage and knockback. Now, going to the next one is going to be the Zipper Barrage. But before that, might as well talk about its passive move. So, Sticky Finger has a passive move called Zipper Man. So, what this does is, whoever you hit, you will poison them. You will poison them. So, each time you hit this one person here, they will deal damage because... Um, they uh, they got they got poisoned. That's it. There might be something wrong here, but because I can't see the poison itself, but like it should poison them. Because if you look here, or no, can you just try to do something? No, it doesn't. But it should poison your enemy. So let's go with the first move, which is gonna be the zipping barrage. Now to do the zipping barrage, all you need to do is hold E. As you can see here, it deals 5 damage and not a little knockback. Not a lot, but a little. Next one is going to be the R. Yes. R. R. And to do this one, you need to click R. And pretty much, this is a heavy punch. Click R. There you go. Deals 30 damage, knockback, and stun. Next one is going to be the zipper launch. Now this one here is range. You can go a little bit farther away, but not a lot or else you won't hit your opponent. Now this is what it's going to look like. Click T and boom. So you just stretch out your finger and literally finger your enemy. <laughs> it's nothing. Never mind. It's fist. It's fist. Okay, it's fist. You fist your enemy. You hit them with the strongest punch you got. Deals, 40, deals 25 damage, a little knockback, and stun at the very end. Next one is going to be the limb detachment. To do this one, all you need to do is click F, go near your opponent, and then click F, and it does that. So this one here is a heavy punch, but a heavy punch with a cool effect. Now that cool effect is that your opponent loses its left or right arm. So, let's look at it one more time. Click F. Boom. You heavy punch them. Do 45 damage. They lose a limb. And by the way, when they lose their limb, it slows them. So, they can't walk like any normal people. They go a little bit slower. Click F again. Deals 47.5 damage. Loses their feet. And boom. They're back up again. So, they can lose any body part. As long as they lose a body part, that's the most important thing. Because them losing a body part makes them go slower. Next one is going to be the zipper teleport. Click V to teleport. Oh, what? 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 That's cool. What? What? Wait, how? Oh, oh. But is this unlimited range or what? I want to test it out. I want to test this thing out. Uh, let's go from here to here to see if we can go. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <gasps> this is like the best one. I I wonder if it can teleport all the way there. 14 seconds cooldown. Let's see if we can teleport a little bit farther away. Probably in the arena itself. Let's go a little bit farther away and test that thing out. V? No, hold on. Cool down, cool down. V nope, it doesn't work like that. We'll go a little bit near then. Nope, nope. Maybe a little bit like this. Nope. This, nope. This, nope. This, nope. This, nope. This, nope. This, nope. Okay, this, nope. This, nope. What? There, now you can teleport. So there is limit to the range. You can't do this unlimitedly, but you should always think about the distance or else you'd be looking stupid teleporting in a place that you don't even know. That is literally cool. This is like the longest teleport I've ever used. Damn, that is cool. Going to the last and final move, it is gonna be the zipper glide. And to do the zipper glide, all you need to do is hold Zay and you do a leap and you also glide and this glide here is uncontrollable meaning that you cannot control it but but it has a good part so whoever is in front of you they will deal stun on contact so let's try that one more time do that you can control it never mind you can't control it but it also stopped them which is sad which is sad, but you can control it. I thought you can't. You could. You could control it. Uh, let me try it one more time. Let me try it one more time, and I want to control it. Let's control the gliding. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. I'm controlling it. Now you control this through mouse, and nothing more than the mouse. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. That is so nice. Okay, that is pretty much it for this video. That is the last move you can use with this uh, sticky fingers. You can do block. You can have your letters or whatever. Ari Denji or whatever. And you can also post if you want to. But that is for me. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any question is available. And there's no such thing as a dumb question. But once again, thanks for watching and bye.